Johnny, I'm so excited for our sleepover tomorrow night. Yeah, me too. It's going to be so much fun. I know. Should we make popcorn? Duh. And we can watch American Girl movies all night long. The best suggestion I have ever heard in my life. Did you, did you hear they came out with a girl of the year? What? You're not allowed to talk about your social and personal stuff at school. Shut up, Emily. You're not even in this conversation. Just giving my opinion so you don't get in trouble with Miss Kittredge. Fine. We will be quiet. Okay. All right, class. Class has started. Yay, whoopee. Excuse me, what would I just hear? Yay, wee, woohoo, woo. That's better. Okay. Turn your textbooks to page 502. Um, Miss Kittredge? Yes, Julie? Um, you gave us American Girl books. That's because I forgot to tell you guys. Today, you can read whatever you want instead of doing book report stuff. Yay! Ugh, my book report book was good. Well, then read a better book. Whatever. The next night. Ugh, this is the best sleepover ever. I know. It's just too much fun. Oh, what do you want to do now? Hmm, I'm not sure. You know, after mattress sliding and prank calling Emily, we don't really have anything else to do. Yeah. Oh, want to get some popcorn? Yeah. When my mom came off a few minutes ago, she left me some. Ooh. La la. Yum. Don't forget to leave some for me. I won't. Here you go. Okay, thanks. Whoopsies. Mmm, this stuff is always so good. Yeah. Mm. We'll leave it there for later. Mm hmm. <sighs> I wonder what we should do now. It's about nine o'clock. But my mom always makes me go to bed early. Yeah. Let's hope she didn't tell my mom. So we can stay up nice and late. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. <sighs> I wonder what to do now. Knock, knock, knock. Come in. Oh, hello, girls. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mrs. Albright. Uh huh. Yes, I'm here to tell you that Miss is Alphabet just called your mom Tawny and said that you guys have to go to bed now mom no I'm sorry but that's what she said good night girls Mwah. Mwah. see you in the morning okay I'll make pancakes yay okay night night <laughs> Well, we better get settled in. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. I can't fall asleep. How about you? Yeah, I mean either. You want to tell ghost stories under the covers? Sure. Okay. Who wants to go first? I will. I have the best ghost story ever. Okay. Once upon a time... There were three little girls. They lived in this big house. And they had their mother and their father. And you know, it was just a normal household. But one night, when all of them were asleep, the girls seemed to disappear. I don't really know. Wow. Yeah, and when the parents woke up, they saw, they called the police, and the police came, and they found a tiny footprint 
and it looked exactly like their neighbors. <gasps> yeah. So they went over to their neighbors, and um, they investigated the house. You know, there was no girls. So they were like, oh, okay, we know you didn't do it. So, so they went all over the city looking for the girls. Oh, that would get tiring. Yeah. It took them three weeks. Yikes. And finally, at the last house on the block of their city, um, they knocked on the door. It opened with no one was there. And then they went in and yelled, hello, hello. And then the wood on the floor creaked. Oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah. One of the policemen fell through a gap from the floor and fell into the cellar. Wow. And he died. But then the other police officer, the mother and the father, all sensed the girl, so they dropped down to where the other police dropped, and they found the girls laying there all dead. And then they saw a white sheet laid over them, and it said, Aren't you glad you had these children? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <sighs> my sister taught that to me like a year ago. Hmm, well, I'm getting pretty tired. How about you? Yeah, why don't we go to sleep? Okay, good night.